What's going on everyone? Hope you have a great day. So here I am back on another video. I am Surjit and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I am going to test on another crypto coin and this is totally a new GPU mineable coin. So you know about the Ethereum, but this is about the Ritherium. So this is the Ethereum restart project. The Ritherium is a new blockchain project that aims to revive the original vision of Ethereum as a global decentralized platform for money and new kinds of application. So Ritherium is based on a modified version of the Ethereum Go client, which is a fork of the official 1.11.6 release. This was the final release of support proof of work. So Ritherium is not just another Ethereum clone. It has a several unique features that make it stands out from the crowd. So here is something that is run on the it has b3 algorithm. So Ritherium was a proof of work consensus algorithm that replaced the hash function with Blake tree algorithm. This allowed for the natural progression of the chain for CPU mining and also the GPU mining as well as improved security performance. So Ratherium, as known as RTH, has its own native currency. So Ratherium, which is used to pay for transaction smart contracts on the network, Ratherium or the RTH has fixed supply schedules that start with 4 RTH per block and gradually decreases to 1 Ratherium per block after 9 years. The total supply after 9 years will be right now this, the RTH per plus block fees and uncle rewards. The compatibility is that Ratherium is fully compatible with the Ethereum protocol, which means that it can run any Ethereum smart contract or the decentralized application or the dApp application without any modification. Ratherium also supports BNB smart chains and the innovation is that Ratherium is not afraid to experiment with new ideas and features that can improve the user experience and the functionality. So this is the main website that the Ratherium.org and here we can see that the latest release version is on GitHub section for the Windows and this is for the Linux and the supported Mining pools is the mining for people mine dot if pool dot pw echo pool and all coin pool but there is a lots of pool is available on there I will show you in this later and the wallet is you can choose the metamax wallet and this is the settings that you can set your wallet on the metamax so now let's back to the blockchain or the explorer is this is the Ritherium org explorer site and in this year here you can see lots of list is available in there the transaction and also the other things and this is the github site for the ratherium this is the twitter and this is totally a new and here you can see just 88 followers is right now and the latest update is right now that the minimum payment on ratherium is the one rth which is in before for ratherium but after the nine years, it's replaced to one Ratherium. And the wallet is also in this year. You can see that it's about the Metamax. And on the Discord, you can see there is a 1427 members is right now available. So you can check it out on there. And this is the BitcoinTalk.org. And in this year, you can get all the updates and why you choose the Ratherium and how to join all the settings and the server and also the links is available on there so you can check it out from there one more thing is that there is not available only the four mining pool in here there is a lots of mining pool address or the mining pool servers is available on there and i am going to use today on the eka pool and also the mining for people and there is a lots of is the zerg pool and also some others coin all coin pool is also available so you can check it out which one is suitable for you you can set this one in this year this is the echo pool site that i am going to set on this pool so i am going to choose on this server address and for the mining for people i am going to use this one or india server and we are going to choose the srme miner in here but the actual thing is that 
were not using the SRB miner direct on there. So what we are going to use in this year here we can see that it's about the GitHub site for the releases of SRB miner and I am using this one on this version the version 2.3.4 but on this year we need the custom miner not the official miner because on official miners there is not listed and this gonna be crashed and also there is some getting issue so that's why we need to custom miner from SRB so this is we are need to copy on that so just why so I copy this link address and paste it from there and for the metamax this is the configuration and this is my mining address and now let's go to the wallet section that we are going to use so just logged in on my metamax wallet okay so in this year here you can see that this is my retherium wallet so if you want to create the retherium wallet on your metamax so how to do just in here i just apply on there just click on settings and click on network and add wallet so you can go on the browser site and on there just click on network and add network add a manually and set the name in here just like this so on network configuration select the name as on retherium the rpc url you can copy it from there also that the rpc url is just like this but i already downloaded and also create so that's why this is showing in here the chain id is this so you are going to create a new so this is not showing for you and the symbol is the rth and one more thing is that if you say the rth there is some going to show you it's like the red sign but do not worry about that just create your wallet just like this and set the explorer as an optional and click on save after you save your wallet just this is the setting is like this and switch to ethereum to retherium so just i copy my wallet address from my metamask now let's back to the flight sheet but before the flight sheet we need to create a wallet so add your wallet set the name retherium and paste your wallet address set the name rth and create your wallet so i already create in here you see that this is my retherium wallet address the same and now go to the flight sheet and just select the retherium in here and choose your wallet as a rth and in this year set configure in minor set the name in here and don't set the srb minor direct in here okay set the custom and on setup config file paste this link or you can find it from there just copy it from there and paste on in there and as a default you get the srb minor as a custom don't set any hash algorithm in here and just on there click on the world dot worker name and on pool server you can choose two different pools in there if you are from us then you can choose this one or the this one and for the europe server you can choose on there and if you are from asia you can choose both one and if you are using mining for people.com then you need to select this statum server id and also the ports and also this extra config argument for the srb mine so i just copy it from there and on this here here you can see i just copy this sites from there you can choose the other ones and for the port 3454 in this here you can see that i just copy it from there and on password section i just apply on as an x and this is the extra config argument so i give you all the links and the arguments on my description so you can copy it from there so on there you don't get any disable cpu option and the other thing so you can get it from there just like copy it from there and paste it just like this in here you can see that the same okay just delete this one and apply on changes and srb minor x just delete this version and just in here click on and delete the dash and enter 
here just like this or you can copy it from there on my description so this is better for you and this is the overall things and on wallet section you choose your own wallet for the overclock setting i said dynex overclock setting in here because we need the max hash rate and also this is working on the same overclock setting as on dynex and the overclock setting i said in here just like the memory clocks is 5000 but you can choose also the 18 and gpu offset is 250 for me and the core clocks is 1500 but you can apply on as on 1470 and on this year you can choose this one so this is the overclock setting if your miner or the gpu is going to be crash and it's showing malfunctioning and other thing issue is going on then you set this overclock setting otherwise the same is just like hash rate .nu is recommended in here but one more thing is also that there is the rhetorium is not available on the hash rate .nu, so you don't get any overclock setting from there you can see that there is no rhetorium is available but you can choose that's like the dynex overclock setting so this is the main things on there apply on changes and create your file sheet or update your miner and on auto fan speed option just set the auto fan speed option in here or you can set the direct auto fan speed option and also the direct power limit in here but don't set the direct overclock setting on there because if you set the direct overclock setting in there your hash rate is going down and you get the hash rate it's about 2 to 3 mega hash on your 3060 card maybe some others card but if you set the direct overclock setting on your gpu then the hash rate is going down but if it's not working for you and is working fine then it's good but this is not working for me so that's why i set the overclock setting on my flight sheet the basic thing is that you need the custom url link to set the flight sheet as the custom srv miner and set the auto fan speed option in here or you can choose the overclock setting the power limit and the fan speed option in here but don't set any direct overclock setting in here and if this working for you then it's good but don't set any overclock setting direct on there just set the direct overclock setting as on the power limit and the fan speed option in there and on the flight sheet setting you need to custom srb miner and on there you select all the settings just like this so you get the better hash shade better result and no issue and the other thing so this is the overall thing now let's back to the live update it's about that mining so this is the live update that here you can see that my 3060 view card is now running and it's get around 41.40 mega hash per second and it's take around 86 to 87 watt and is run on it has b3 algorithm and it's running on mining for people.com and my card is running very smoothly and i just started it's right now so that's why it's just showing around 14 minutes to something and I set the same overclock setting just like the Dynex overclock setting in there and this is the overall update now let's back to the high voice again and this is the live update on my high voice that here we can see that the same hash rate is 41.33 to 41.41 mega hash and in this here the same is like the Novo mining just I change it in the there so in this year here you can see that is run on the it has b3 algorithm and is mining rhetorium and the total hash rate is 41.41 mega hash per second and take around 87 watt no overclock setting I just said in here just I said the power limit and the auto fan speed option in there you can see that on overclock setting I just said the 180 the power limit and the auto fan speed option in there i just said the auto fan speed enabled in there and other thing all the setting i said in my flight sheet so if this video is helpful for you and if you want to mine rhetorium on your gpu then you can definitely try on there but i just recommend it in there you choose the echo pool and also the mining for people server from there because other server is i think not good for right now because this is a totally a new coin and i give you all the settings on my description so you can copy it from there 
So this is the overall update in this video and if this video is helpful for you please like and subscribe to my channel and support me continuously as you continue support me in before and share this video if someone need to be mine this rhetorium. So this is the overall in this video. So thanks for you guys. See you in the next one.